sad news that makes me really angry. Sadness usually makes me angry. That's just, that's how I react to sadness. I get really pissed. Um, sadness with anger with glee. All at the same time. See what I mean? Mixed emotions here. I'm, I'm coming here with mixed emotions. That's, that's just the best way to say it. In the month of July, this month of July, 2022, there will be more death in this month of July than ever recorded in human history outside of the flood of Noah's Ark kind of flood that this month tons and tons of people are gonna die even some of you viewers are gonna have your family die around you um, the world leaders they're gonna have their families dying around them judges lawyers prosecutors police officers they're going to be dying left and right. Each day that I deliver you information is going to result in people dying. See what I mean? I've been talking and talking and talking for years now. It just falls on deaf ears. There's not going to be any more. I warned you, Israel, two years ago to take the star off your flag. You haven't listened. You're going to die. Do you understand that? It's a guaranteed fact. World leaders, you're going to die. You're going to have family members around you dying. It's going to be really, really ugly. I don't have time to go through my entire portfolio and remind you of what I told you and what you still haven't done. See what I mean? So it just results in, first of all, the mockery. Isaiah, the Isaiah wall at the United Nations in New York, that's a complete mockery of our Heavenly Father. That's a, a mockery to me. It's a mockery to Isaiah. It's a mockery to anybody, basically. Because, well, if you could chisel that into limestone, then why couldn't you just do it? Why did someone actually have to come here to tell you to do it when you already knew it was the right thing to do? And you, even when I came and told you to do it, you still didn't do it. See what I mean? So you're going to die. You know what I mean? I'm not going to keep doing this anymore. You're just going to die, and that's how it's going to be. So from now on, this whole month, pretty much any time I make a video and you don't listen to it, there could be a pr problem with that for you. And uh, whether you listen to it or not, won't change the results. People are going to start dying just based off of what I say at this point because you ignore it. It doesn't matter if you comprehend it. It doesn't matter if you ever hear it. It doesn't matter if you hear it and still can't listen. It doesn't matter if you hear it and you don't have the ears to hear. I don't care how you want to look at it. I'm going to say things. People are going to die because you had time to listen. It, okay, change the subject. If there all these women out there looking for kingdom husbands and kingdom marriages when they haven't even gotten into the kingdom yet, and I've told them not to do that kind of thing. First of all, outside of one prick that gets on my YouTube channel all the time is just a childish prick. There isn't one person that I would even consider remotely close to a man when it comes to, in regards to standing against me. And, well, there's only one man that was man enough to stand with me at all. See what I mean? So, both of these men that I've referred to, both the prick and the guy that's kind of my buddy, they're both married, see what I mean? There is no men left on earth. None of these world leaders are men. None of these religious leaders are men. If there was another man on earth besides like myself, basically, that's it we'd know about him. He would have stood with me or stood against me. But see, it's just a bunch of cowards. Male cowards. See what I mean? That's it. Males. Boys. No men. Not one. I'm really the only one. See what I mean? That's it. If there was another man, he wouldn't even let me talk about him this way. Pure coward. Not a man. And I've been doing it for a couple of years now, just proving none of you claiming to have Jesus, claiming to be a Jew, claiming to be a Muslim, claiming to be a world leader. You're all just a bunch of cowards. You're not men. I'm, I'm talking to women all over the place because that's the only part of the body of Christ that I, the remnant that has got any wisdom. That's it. Uh, there's no choice. You, you boys, you cowards, you're not men. See what I mean? I got these, I got these women to talk to and that's it. See? That's really it. Pathetic.